Hey, what is going on you guys? Today, I am doing what a lot of people have recommended me to do. And that is decat my R1. And I'm gonna actually walk you guys through it. Which, if you don't know what it is, is that big muffler box, cat, whatever you wanna call it. It's two oxy sensors there. And I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you have to do to swap this out. Now there's many different link pipes. There's the link pipe, mid pipe, uh, whatever you want to call it uh, different manufacturers do it this is a Mazari one Mazari I think I think the name of it is uh, it's the more towards the more affordable end of the scale I know Akropovich they do one it's it's pushing up 900 to 1200 bucks and that's AUD so yeah without further ado let's get into it first what you want to start off with is have a 5mm T handle or 5mm Allen key and undo these two allen keys here i've already started undoing them they are going to be firm but not super tight then you want to move to the back section here and undo these three allen keys which are a four mil allen key go ahead and undo those on the other side you want to undo these two five mil allen keys and remove remove these lower trims just hook in underneath like that sit them out the way put them somewhere where they're not going to get scratched obviously I'm not going to leave that there then you want to get onto the back one and just undo these three just handy. obviously put all the bolts in a place where they don't get lost I will be relocating these bolts and putting them somewhere where I don't lose them. Now obviously if you haven't got an aftermarket system, which I've only got the Acro slip on, if you haven't got an aftermarket system, you're gonna to have to deal with these cables and the servo. I'm gonna show you how to deal with that either in this video or I'll do another video on how to do that. Next, what you wanna do is pull out the oxygen sensors. So there's one on this side and there is another one completely adjacent on the other side. Now you can run back and trace all this wiring back up through the bike or you can do the simple way I do. Now this is completely up to you, you don't have to follow what I do, but I actually twist these wires, take the tension off them and then undo it. And then when I reinstall it, I twist the wires up and then install it so it comes back even again I've done it multiple times on many different bikes and I haven't had an issue at all even cars I've done it with cars and haven't had a problem at all but like I said you can do it whichever way you choose and then when you reinstall it you just twist it the way that it's going to go so it has enough tension and then just wind it in sit that out of the way I'll do the same on the other side. The next what you want to do is undo the can. You can remove this carbon sh shield if you actually do want to. I'm going to need two hands for this, but I personally, I'll just I just leave it on and I just slide the muffler off the back. To undo this bolt, you need a 12 mil socket and a 13 mil ring ring spanner or open end spanner shifter, whatever you want to do for the nut on the back. Yours may be different because yours may still have the stock can on the back or muffler on the back from Yamaha. And up underneath here, this is a T45 Torx bit. One of these. I am gonna talk you through the cables in another video. I'm gonna do a video just dedicated to removing these cables, removing the servo, or just removing the cables. But for now, I'm just gonna tell you how to do remove all the can and the pipe. So you have to check out the other video which I'll link for this. All you want to do is grab the can, wheel it, pull it off the back, like so. Sit that out the way so it doesn't get damaged. Now I don't know if you guys have seen in here but there's that butterfly that opens and closes uh, essentially gives you a full open exhaust and completely closed um, to make it quieter for obviously emissions and stuff like that 
If you are going to do this mod, I highly recommend that you hold on to your standard muffler box just in case you do get in trouble with EPA or something, uh, the emissions in your country. Next, what you want to do is undo these two 10mm nuts. They can be quite tight. So loosen them right off. They're going to be quite firm. Uh, just be aware of that. Loosen them off. Take them. Move them around a little bit. Just enough so you can slide this off. Now once you've got all that undone, next what you want to do is you want to undo that Allen key there. Now they're going to have washers on either side. Now the size of these Allen keys are 6mm. So you can use Allen key bit and Allen key itself. They're going to be tight though. Um, and just undo them. So there's one there, one here. To get to that, you got to pull the brake lever down, and you can either put a rag or something on there so you don't damage your brake lever. But that one there, and then the third one is under, right in through there. You can see it at the end of my finger, and you can either move this fairing out the way, or you can actually get in underneath there and uh, get to it. I keep all the hardware that comes off my bike. You never know when you're going to need it. That was just the handle of my ratchet. When you undo this third one, you want to support this muffler box or cat or whatever you want to call it. It's named in different things. So it's going to want to drop. Now, all you need to do is pry back and pull this off. It's going to take a bit of wiggle on. And there it is. If you could actually feel the weight of this thing, the weight savings alone from this crazy it's massive so that's what I took out and this is what I'm going to put back in so it has the provisories for the oxy sensors and now you just remove those clamps around to suit the same as the muffler box and uh, I may even take the gaskets out of the end of that muffler box and insert them in here Give this pipe a nice wipe down after it's installed with uh, WD-40, something along those lines, just to get the fingerprints off it. Put it all back together and get it started. And before you install any pipe back on the bike, you want to grab, this is just copper grease, but a crop of itch. It's left over from when I did a slip-on on the R3 ages ago. Uh, you just want to put a dab of that on your finger and you want to rub it just on the inside, just this inside uh, surface in here. It stops the two metals fusing together and if you do have to pull it apart it just makes your job a hell of a lot easier. Now when it comes to insulation of this pipe, you need to just sort of go back and forth between each side and work it on. comes back to here and just doesn't move move on anymore yep just do up these Clamps. 
do them down snug, not super crazy tight. Yeah, jump around the other side and do the other side. So now you just start with the oxy sensors. What you want to do is wind them up. Five, six, so turns. So now you can get them started. Just unwind the cable or the wires. There you go. Tighten them down with a 17 mil spanner. Just snug, they don't have to be crazy tight. You don't want to break them off in the exhaust. Sit there and adjust your wires. So they're all good. You repeat the pro same process on the other side and then we'll go to the next step. Next you want to install the rear can. Again, you want to put some more of that copper grease in there. Slide the rear can on, put your bolt in here and then tighten up your T45 Torx bit or whatever that bolt is down the bottom there. As you can see, there's a lot more room in here. Now, you can choose to remove these mounts uh, or some of the mounts for that cat but or muffler. I'm just gonna leave it there because I may be changing back and forth depending on what I'm doing. Once you've done the bolt underneath, you just want to do the bolt and nut on the top here. Now, I did have issues with this pipe. Uh, the Acra was sitting a bit loose. I've tightened it as tight as I can, but I think it's just because this is the, literally this does a multitude of pipes. Um, it's a universal one size sort of it's all um, not super annoyed about it uh, because of the price it was it wasn't super expensive so I'll I'll work with it before you start the bike up you want to give the whole system a wipe down uh, with some WD-40 or brake cleaner or something along those lines and then I'll warm it up and go from there also say this now now's the best time to put those trim pieces back on mine will utilize the front trim piece the middle trim piece won't go back on uh, obviously because there's no places for it to bolt onto maybe down the track if I get an acro pipe or something along those lines for the midsection I might be able to but I just wanted to see how this sounded um, and whether or not I wanted to go this path and go from there So I'll let the bike warm up and uh, I'll give you a listen to what it sounds like. So 
of it, how you do a uh, mid pipe install. As you can see, it's pretty open through here, but yeah, it's definitely louder. Way, way louder. Um, I'd have to see what it's like actually riding it, what it's like on the bike. Those pops and crackles are so loud. I got some footage of the bike shooting some flames, so I might add that in. Um, just a low feed on the throttle and it pops, crackles, and shoots a flame out the exhaust, which looks pretty cool, but yeah. So that is how you do the mid pipe. If you liked the video, give it a huge thumbs up, go ham on it, and until uh, next time guys, take care. Peace.